Hello, this is Astro Dano. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a little video on Deep Sky Stacker. And just going to go through my basic workflow. And let's start it off like this. So when I use my dedicated ZWO cameras, I'll use ASI Studio. And it has ASI fits view here and I can sort through the images with that if I'm using my DSLRs um, I'll use Adobe bridge here to sort through my images but you could also just use your um, file explorer <clears throat> so but what I like to do is um, so the other night I took images of the Orion constellation with my Canon T5i and a 50 millimeter lens and I made four different folders I took 60 second lights that's my exposures I took matching darks that are 60 seconds and then I took bias frames and I took flat frames and I make a folder for each one of these and I date them and I try to be specific in case I want to keep this data and go back and reprocess it you know maybe a year from now I have done that before went back and reprocessed some old data uh, when it was cloudy for weeks and um, actually did a better job on it so if you want to keep your photos on a hard drive or something like that you can just if you label it you can keep up with it you could always go back and reprocess it in the future so here I have um, my light my light folder Orion constellation I put my camera t5i my lens 50 millimeters 60 seconds and I dated it so I'm going to open this up and I've already stacked these. I've got one, two, three, four, five images here that I've already stacked. Um, but I'm going to restack these again for this video. And sometimes when you stack your images in Deep Sky Stacker, you'll come back to that folder and it'll have these uh, info tabs. And I think there's a way to turn that off, but I'm just going to go up here to sort and go to type and then I'm going to scroll down to this first one and hit shift and right click and delete you know, delete all those okay we should be good to go on the rest of these okay now I'm going to open up Deep Sky Stacker. And up here at the top, you have Open Picture Files. And I am running version 4.2.6 or 4.2.6. I think that's the latest version, but that's what I'm currently running. So I'm going to go to Open Picture Files. And since I just stacked these earlier, it's going to come right up to it. but. I'll go back to this drive and I'll pull up my lights which are right here I'll click on that I'm gonna grab this very first single frame and I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna to go to the bottom and get this last one and then I'll hit open and now I have my light frames in here I'm going to hit check all and then down here that tells me I have 121 light frames and then I'm going to repeat this I'm going to hit darks and these are the respective folders but um, I'll go back and do this anyway so Orion Constellation darks there's my dark folder I'll click on that and hold shift get that last one I'm gonna leave that master dark out that's just from stacking it before I open I've got 20 dark frames now I'm gonna do my flats same view um, 
that's bias folder and that's flats folder click on this one hold shift open and offset bias frames I usually don't take dark flat frames uh, I, I know it's recommended with certain cameras but I usually just use darks flats and bias frames so let's one more time here uh, Ryan Constellation T5i bias click on that hold shift click on the last one whoops click on the last one and hit open and now I have 121 light frames um, 20 dark frames 26 flat frames and 30 bias frames which I thought I took about 50 that night but I guess I didn't so it's just gonna have to work okay so you can go in the settings um, I'm not going to change anything. I changed something on the last one and it took forever to stack. So I came back in. I'm going to make sure that that is set up like I normally have it. On this register settings, I just usually leave that at 10% and reduce the noise by using a median filters checked. Uh, I'm just going to leave that alone. And let's see here. I'm going to go to the stacking settings. Now I'm uh, going to do a standard mode. We're not doing a mosaic or uh, anything like that. So this is standard mode. Drill, uh, drizzle is off. And I have use all available processors checked. And it's going to check on my lights here. Um, I changed it earlier to median kappa sigma. And it took like twice as long for some reason. So. I'm just gonna I switched it back to Kappa Sigma and my darks are median and the flats are median Kappa Sigma and the bias offset are median Kappa Sigma and my output file is it's gonna save it to the the light folder and it's going to save it as autosave.tiff okay all right that looks good and now we're going to hit register check pictures and um, you can set this like if you don't go through each individual picture it's best not to keep this at 100 you can do less but if you go through and look at each picture and everything looks good and you take the bad frames out then it's it's okay to do um, a higher number here and I'll just go ahead and do a hundred percent because I think I went through these and I'm gonna see I'm gonna hit recommended settings right here well before I hit that this is highlighted green because I have uh, darks flats and bias frames checked so that's that's good there and I'm gonna hit the recommended settings and I usually leave these alone for the most part but you can always like if something the last one I stacked kind of came out looking weird so I came back in here and changed that setting but um, one thing I will do is at the bottom here it says if the resulting images look too gray use per channel background calibration and that's what I've been using so that's highlighted green so all of your options that are set are in green and I'm gonna roll with that I'm gonna hit OK and I'll have a total exposure time of 1 hour and 57 minutes and 3 seconds here and um, it's time to stack them up here we go So estimated time is eight minutes, and uh, I'll see how this uh, stacks up, pun intended, uh, to the last stack I did. It took about 15 minutes with that last one, so I'll just uh, skip all this and come back when it's done.
that was just a little bit quicker than the last stack. I think my old computer here might be starting to slow down a little bit. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's see it. There we go. Huh. Yeah, it looks about the same as the other one. I don't know. Um, I don't know if that's um, better or worse. I guess I'll find out when I go to process it. I'll try to do both of them, see if there's a difference in using that setting. But yep, yeah, that's the basic workflow of Deep Sky Stacker and that um, stacks all of your images and reduces the noise and uh, next video I'll do is about processing this stacked image right here so yep that's deep sky stacker and um, I usually don't so I usually don't touch any of the settings in here I don't use any of these um, luminance or saturation or anything I don't try to line up the histogram in here. I do all that in, um, I usually use Photoshop, but I think I'm going to try a video using um, GIMP. I've been messing with it a little bit lately. And Deep Sky Stacker is free and GIMP is free, so I'll kind of, um, I think I'll just, I'll go along with the, uh, the free theme here for this next couple of videos. And, uh, yep, that's Deep Sky Stacker, and there's my stacked image of the Orion Constellation. One hour and 58 minutes. See ya.